Hey, how are you doing? Now today we're going to be talking about... Oh, shit. Should... should I do that again? Hello! No, that's too much. No, 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 right. Hello, 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 and indeed, hello. Now, um, my face has been chirruping words at you for a fair while now. Um, and I, th I think it's about time um, in, in our relationship that I gave you some personal information. We've broken the ice. The ice has very much been broken. Despite the number of beautiful women in my videos, um, the rules of the internet dictate that if you're a nerd from the internet, you're single. And as we can see from this graph, the nerd attributes outnumber quite thoroughly the cool attributes in, in the yin yang thing of Joan. Um, meaning that I am as single as a single thing. Which is no bad thing. But the reason I tell you is because I have recently signed up to the dating website which shall not be named. Um, and, and I find that culture incredibly interesting. Yeah, so what, so what I want to do is just read you some genuine quotes from this website. My ambitions include successfully faking my own death and framing my enemy for it. The first things people usually notice about me is my smile and the intelligent look I have on my beautiful face. I used to suffer from mild social anxiety. I also used to have cripplingly low self-esteem and a houseplant called Evelyn. Since Evelyn died, things have improved. Nowadays, I'm just a bit shy, awkward. It's cute, I promise. But, but the reason I, I tell you all of this is that I've never come across a description like this. Hey boys, my name is so and so. Um, I'm five foot four. I'm from Kidderminster. I've got a good sense of humour and I'm existent. Why? Because that would be silly. But I want to make some really, really cool points about human behaviour. There's a guy called Gustav Brantano who wrote, I think, I think about seven or eight really cool, in-depth books. But he's only really remembered for one and a half pages of text. But you know how it is, you know, you're, you're working on something completely different and then just prove your own existence. But yes, the reason why it makes no sense to say, hi guys, I'm existent, is because, quite unsurprisingly, you have to be existent to say that. But this leads me on to something um, really quite profound and really quite beautiful about human beings and why I find them incredibly interesting. Let's suppose I said, I love so-and-so from Kidderminster. I have to exist. But if I love somebody, um, they don't have to exist. They could be a figment of my imagination. That, dearests, is what Brentano calls intentionality of the mental. Meaning, just what I just said, is that if you have a mental relationship with something, um, that, that could be loving or believing in, or behaving towards something, which I'll get onto in a minute, the object of your loving, or your believing, or your or your seeing, or behaving even, doesn't have to exist. Say, I love so-and-so from Kidderminster. I think I see so-and-so from Kidderminster, and I'm in this state of loving so-and-so from Kidderminster, which is awesome. But then I run into who I think is so-and-so from Kidderminster, and it doesn't turn out to be so-and-so from Kidderminster. I did not love this person. The process of running and loving and going, oh, I love so-and-so from Kidderminster, uh, was not dependent on so-and-so from Kidderminster actually being there or actually existing at all. However, if I correctly identified so-and-so from Kidderminster and gave her a big sloppy kiss, that would be a physical relationship because both me and so-and-so from Kidderminster have to exist for us to exchange in a big sloppy kiss. Because behaviour is a mental relationship, like believing and loving and all that kind of thing, behaviour exists in our imagination. We make it up. We attach meanings to things that don't really warrant meaning. You could take yourself out of it by being a hermit and living on your own and, and existing as, a, as, a, as just one unit. But that would be sacrificing what makes you human and that's why I have no girlfriend. I shall see you soon, you gorgeous, fantastic, fantastic, beautiful and insanely intelligent and good-mannered human beings. Goodbye. And just before we go, I have some names here um, for this guitar that that you beautiful people have um, have suggested. The guitar's name, you'll know it before I do, is Casmiro, Destroyer of the Peace. Casmiro, 
destroyer of the beast.